He is known for his leadership in advocating for arms control, human rights, and foreign policy. He is recognized for serving as the president of the Federation of American Scientists for 30 years. His name is Jeremy J. Stone. In the world of science and diplomacy, one name stands out, Jeremy J. Stone, an American scientist and advocate for arms control and human rights. Born into a family of journalists, Stone inherited a passion for truth and justice. From 1970 to 2000, he served as the president of the Federation of American Scientists, where he tirelessly led initiatives to promote arms control, human rights, and foreign policy. Stone's dedication and leadership were instrumental in shaping the organization's advocacy efforts during his tenure. Following his presidency, Stone's commitment to diplomacy continued as he founded a new organization called Catalytic Diplomacy. This venture allowed him to further his work in advocating for peaceful resolutions and fostering international cooperation. Stone's tireless efforts in the field of diplomacy earned him recognition and respect from his peers and the international community. Jeremy J. Stone's legacy extends far beyond his years as the president of the Federation of American Scientists. His unwavering commitment to arms control, human rights, and diplomacy serves as an inspiration to future generations of scientists and advocates. Stone's work reminds us of the importance of using scientific knowledge and expertise to promote peace and ensure the welfare of humanity. In the 1960s, Jeremy embarked on a new mission, arms control. He dedicated his efforts to developing proposals that would prevent the deployment of anti-ballistic missile systems. He spent several years as a research associate at the Harvard Center for International Affairs, where he authored two influential books on the subject. His works, containing the arms race, some specific proposals, and strategic persuasion, arms control through dialogue, became essential references in the field. After his time at Harvard, Jeremy took up a teaching position at Pomona College, where he shared his knowledge of mathematics and arms control with eager students. But his passion for making a difference extended beyond the classroom. In 1970, he assumed the role of CEO at the Federation of American Scientists, an organization founded by atomic scientists after World War II. Under Jeremy's leadership, the Federation became a driving force in policy debates on a wide range of issues, including the nuclear arms race, human rights, and global warming. Jeremy's efforts in arms control were not in vain. His proposals and initiatives yielded significant results. In fact, the Russians even referred to the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty as Jeremy Stone's proposal as early as 1967. He played a crucial role in securing the Carter administration's approval of a follow-on to the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks SALT II, and contributed to the groundwork for the START II Treaty. Additionally, he introduced a groundbreaking approach to the concept of no first use of nuclear weapons. But Jeremy's work extended beyond arms control. In the 1970s, he played a vital role in fostering scientific exchange with China, opening doors for collaboration and cooperation. He also championed the rights of scientists in Russia, establishing human rights committees to protect their freedoms. His advocacy reached its pinnacle when he became a leading supporter of Soviet physicist Andrei Sakharov, who described Jeremy as, creative, articulate, and brave. Throughout his career, Jeremy tackled various challenges and achieved remarkable feats. He exposed and put an end to the illegal CIA program of mail opening, influencing a change in U.S. policy on Cambodia that had inadvertently supported the genocidal Khmer Rouge. He even advocated for collaboration between the CIA and the KGB on matters of shared interest. Jeremy's expertise even led him to face difficult decisions, such as determining whether to warn the East Coast of a possible impending earthquake. In his memoir, Every Man Should Try, Adventures of a Public Interest Activist, published in 1999, Jeremy documented his successes and failures, leaving a lasting record of his impactful work. His dedication to international relations and diplomacy continued well into the late 1990s and early 2000s, as he led scientific delegations to Iran and initiated a restart of scientific exchange between Iran and the United States. In his final memoir, Catalytic Diplomacy, Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran, published in 2009, Jeremy reflected on his work from 1999 to 2006, highlighting the catalytic role he played in fostering diplomatic relations with these nations. Jeremy Stone, a visionary and tireless advocate for peace, left an indelible mark on the world of arms control and international relations. His contributions continue to shape our understanding of diplomacy and the pursuit of global security. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.